Hello kindergarten. It is week eight, day four. It is Thursday. The weekend is almost here. Um, so today it looks like it's going to be our game day. I'm going to minimize the screen. I'm really trying to figure out how I can keep the screen behind us and click on these games to check them out all at the same time. So this one is really cool. The um, Listen to the 10 Magic Butterflies. And so it's a little story that you may or may not have already listened to. So you just click on it. You're going to listen to the story and I'm not going to ruin it for you. And then you're going no, to really? get to the end there and she's going to review with you how to make 10. And it's really easy, as she says. I hope you enjoyed my story. It's easy to practice all the different ways to make 10. We have 10 fingers. You can make 9 and 1, 8 and 2. My favorite is 7 and 3. Remember, all around us we can find numbers. And maybe a little magic, too. So with that, I want you to um, get a blank sheet of paper. Just like Miss Furman has in her notebook. And I want you to write down all the ways you can make 10. So whether you want to use your fingers or if you want to use manipulatives, maybe you have game cards, maybe you have coins, maybe you have markers or pencils or counters that you have at home, whatever you would like to use to find different ways to make 10 and make a list of your addition sentences. Um, if you do not want to play that or if you'd like to play another game, the pop-up math subtraction is fun. And it's just gonna bring this in. You can either do super or you can do easy or maybe you start with easy and work your way up or you just go straight to the super and you pick a level. Let's see. I don't like that make a thing. Eight minus one. Maybe you have to use your fingers this one and you're gonna figure out what it is and click on the number. Okay, that's that one. Or you can do the pop-up addition. Same thing here. You can either push normal or super. One plus four. I believe that is five. So I'm going to find the penguin with five and feed him the fish. Two plus two, four. Same thing. And then the Greg uh, Ting website. You may have played some of these in your classroom or in past lessons, but you're just going to click on one of your favorites and have a little fun. So I hope you have uh, time to play all of them. If not, pick your favorite. And I will see you on tomorrow. It's fun Friday, guys. So I will see you on Friday.